Up until now, I have been guiding you through the process of automating your trading using programming. We have covered setting up your API server, dealing with certificates and managing firewalls. However, in this video and next few, we'll shift our focus to no-code automated trading. For this, I'm going to use Make.com, a popular no-code automation platform that offers multiple integrations and cloud hosting. It is a high-level workflow I am going to build. In this video, I will cover the basic workflow, but we will build on top of this in the upcoming session. Please subscribe to my channel to get notification for future videos. You can log into Make.com using Google or any other authentication. Once you log in, you have a free tier to start with, which is having 1000 operations per month. I'll come to that operation aspect later. So let's log in. And once you log in, you will get to your dashboard. It's showing some stats, which I already ran some workflows. If you see there, like there is some operations which is displayed. Let's go and create a scenario. Scenario is nothing but the workflow which you want to run through. The so first thing which is required is a webhook from the trading view. So here I'm selecting a Nexus trading, which is already created. Otherwise you can go ahead and add a new one. So let's copy this webhook and we need to test it with a Postman. I'm not going into the Postman details. So this is just for test purpose. So here we are trying to validate the data format. So this is the same format which is going to be received by the trading view. So this is validated. Next thing we need to do is create a trading view alert. Before creating an alert, we need to load our strategy for which the alert needs to be created. Here I am going to load a MACD strategy. You can either load a default one or create your own one for your convenience. The strategy is loaded and it's generating some triggers. Let's go ahead and create an alert for that. Here I am creating an alert for us SPY. Let's create an alert and I am going to generate the alert for MACD signals. So default there is some data which is available. I am not going to use that one. Let's give a name MACD strategy. Then I am going to replace the content with my own JSON format. Let's not worry about the JSON format for now which I will provide you in the link below. So these variables are provided with the document in trading view itself. You can just go through and then see what are the variables you can use them in the JSON. You can create your own JSON format. It is just an example. So all the JSON format is available. Now we have to go ahead and create the webhook URL. So just copy the webhook URL from the make.com. Go ahead and paste this one. Now we have the alert configured. Let's try to create a next node. Here I am going to create a router node, which is for redirecting the traffic based on the incoming signal. So there are two routes I am going to set it up. One is for buy and another is for sell. So here I am going to set up a filter. Call it, let's call it buy. You can see all these variables like coming from the previous node. So let's grab the signal variable and then say like if it's a buy, execute this node. Similarly, on the other side, we wanted to do a sell signal. Let's call it as a sell. And again, the same thing, copy the signal value and say sell. So now you have a rule set on both sides. So based on the incoming data, if it's a buy, execute the buy node. And if it's a sell, execute the sell node. So now what is that something we are going to do when you receive a buy or sell? We want to call a brokerage to send the order. Okay, here I am going to use an Alpaca API, which is pretty simple. And just expect an API key and a secret, which is a very simple authentication and a simple API. Let's open the document to see how the create order looks like. It's a simple URL. You have to pass two headers, which is like AP key and a secret and a body which has got all the details you want to sell. Let's go out and regenerate the AP key. I already have one. I'm just for a demo purpose, I'm going to regenerate. 
here only the key will be displayed always the secret will be disappearing so copy this key and secret somewhere don't disclose it and let's also check a position if we have got any in this i don't have any position now let's test the api go ahead and use a url whichever is mentioned again as i mentioned like we have to add two headers api key id and the secret one copy those two keys like which you have stored already set the body to a raw and json format here this is a simple format there is an example in the doc and just copy them and going to test it with a spy signal a by market i'm going to execute them set the api we got the by signal for spy okay now things are working from the other side well, now let's create the same http request what we did postman inside the make that call it's pretty much the same thing you need url the method it's a get or a post in this case it's a post method because you are going to send a body with a json format for which you need to say which signal or a symbol or a trade you are going to do so select a post add those two headers which is required just said earlier like the key and the secret copy the key same thing and add another header value this is the secret copy the secret and here is the body which i mentioned and i set it to raw and the coder type as json copy the same json format which you send in the postman but here here is a trick right change you don't want the statically by always the spy if you change the trading view webhook to something else you still want the same logic to apply so you are going to change it to a dynamic one so copy all these variables whatever you want to refill with the static words that's pretty intuitive whatever is static you just keep it as is because you are not going to change based on the incoming data just keep it as is here if you see like you have a lot more parameters to send it it's a day trade or could until cancel we also need to pass the response because we are going to do some more operation on top of it we need those data as well similarly do the same for sell side as well nothing different since the signal is going to be dynamic like it's pretty straightforward do repeat the same thing again for sell copy them and it should be good to go okay both are done okay finally we have all the nodes in place let's run one time manually let's go to the postman and send a webhook that way we know it's working into it we send webhook it's working fine we got a buy signal and it executed you see the position change from quantity 1 to 2 okay let's also try to test the sell side of it now i'm going to change the json to sell and then set it again okay now this the the below node is executed and you can see the position is cleared i send a two sell signal now things are working end to end let's go to the trading view and enable the alert it's activated now you can see it's active and already generated two alerts right you can see the values like displayed for buy and sell now let's go and save them and make it into production make it active now the whole workflow is active now you go to the history and see like it's activated it says like scenario was activated by nexus fission and let's clear the log so that we know like any new messages are coming let's wait for a few seconds assuming we will get an alert i'm doing a fast forward of this video because it's a 1 minute chart it's going to be pretty long i not sure whether i'm going to get alert okay i don't think it's helping let's go ahead and create a 5 seconds chart so that we get a little bit more faster i'm going to create a new alert with 5 second replace the json and uh, disable the 1 minute and activate the 5 second let's now see if we are able to get the signal pretty fast okay now i'm fast forwarding a little bit let's see okay i got a signal i can see there is a log 
it's showing the data cell signal let's now go to the make.com and see the history let's uh, copy it doesn't refresh automatically uh, go to the other tab and uh, yeah okay history okay you can, you can see a success okay we got a position now and that's it like it's now working into it like we got a first as a short position it's up to you to implement the logic if you really don't want to enter the short all this logic have to go into the block saying like don't execute the cell signal here we are putting everything in one screen so it's pretty visible and once we get an alert we can see all of them in action okay you see the flow got executed and the alpaca got the order hope you got a better view of how things work end to end it's just a basic one i'm going to put a lot more content into this integrating other brokerage platforms and other functionalities which we can explore using make.com thanks for watching this video looking forward to another session